government saying there needs to be more transparency around this move. Yes, Claire, that is the message this morning. The Taoiseach is in Helsinki in Finland uh, meeting the uh, Finnish Prime Minister and President this morning. But domestic matters, as they have oftentimes throughout uh, the term of his uh, government, have followed him abroad. The Taoiseach confirming this morning that the secondment of Tony Houlihan to Trinity College Dublin uh, will be paused pending a review of the situation, which is being compiled by officials here at the Department of Health and will be sent to the Department of the Taoiseach next week. He said that there was a need for transparency on this issue. That was a call which was echoed uh, by his Taunish to Leo Varadkar, who was speaking in Dublin earlier on. He was quite critical of the situation, saying that there is a right way and a wrong way to do secondments, but this must be seen to be uh, the right way to do things. He says that this has been uh, very much poorly handled from the get-go. Uh, he's awaiting the report too, but he does say, uh, effectively, that the, the government absolutely needs to make sure that they are doing the right thing with this. Like it could have been better handled, quite frankly. And um, in fairness uh, to Stephen Donnelly, the minister, he didn't know either. So, you know, he rang me to tell me that uh, this was happening and both of us um, made the reasonable assumption that uh, a professorship in Trinity came up, uh, was available. Um, Dr Holland applied for it and got it. You know, it was several days later that we found out that there was more to it than that. Uh, so, you know, nobody in government is happy about this because even though we were not involved in it in any way, uh, inevitably these, these things do reflect on us uh, because we're, we're the politicians in charge. Uh, and that's why the Taoiseach took, took the decision to uh, pause the appointment uh, until we get a full report. Well, there's a comment to Trinity College is open-ended. Uh, Dr Tony Houlihan confirming that he doesn't seek to return here to the Department of Health to become uh, the CMO once again. No detail at this point as well uh, in by way of what terms of reimbursement, as would usually be the case since incumbents would be paid uh, from Trinity College to the Department of Health. We have asked the Department of Health uh, for a further statement, hoping to outline where things stand now at this point, particularly as well in terms of the pension arrangements. And this is something which is likely to attract more political opposition over the days ahead. Sinn Féin's health spokesperson David Cullinan speaking to Virgin Media News earlier on today says there is a big question mark over the role in the Department of Health's uh, Secretary General Robert Watt in this, seeing as he did sign off on this, uh, why he should be the person then to deliver a report to the Taoiseach on it. We also have to ask questions in relation to the head of the Department of Health. If he was part of the process, part of the decision making and signed off on this process, then clearly he is not the person who should give the report to the Taoiseach. It should be others. Yes, uh, David Cullinan also saying that the Minister for Health, Stephen Donnelly, should have had more awareness of what was going on uh, with regards to the appointment of Tony Houlihan to this position in Trinity College Dublin. But really, there are growing murmurs across government now about how this has been handled, about the fact that various ministers and even the Taoiseach had welcomed this move, uh, while not being fully abreast, apparently, of all the details of it.